Today, we have the iconic Metal Raiders set. This is the second ever Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. It had iconic cards like Solemn Judgment, Heavy Storm, and Change of Heart. Even monsters like Gate Guardian and Black Skull Dragon are in here. And we're gonna pop this bad boy open and have us a duel. We're actually doing a bunch of these old school duels, so just check them out, give them, give them a watch if you enjoy this kind of content, and let's get to the duels. Time to pop open Metal Raiders. I'll take the left half of this box, also, I get one extra pack because we, we have one extra pack. Let's get to opening. Jedi Gumo, this is a very good monster. Sangin, that's a that's a good rare. I'm happy to see Sangin. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for exactly, but that's a good card in general. Ooh! Solemn Judgment, that's an ultra rare. I'm gonna beat Paul with this, y'all. Witch of the Black Forest, you got Sangen and Witch here. That's good floats, that's a good float. And Tribute to the Doom, a great destruction spell. That's actually really good, good monster removal. I played a lot of um, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, the old Game Boy Advance video game recently. And a lot of these cards I used unironically in that game because they, they had alignments and they were good. Okay, I gotta draw attention to this. So I literally used all three of these cards in the sacred cards. And you would think, why would I use these like 1300, 1500, and 1350 monsters? Well, in that game, monsters had alignments in addition to their types, which actually gave them this kind of Pokemon-like system of destroying monsters that were bigger than them. Speaking of alignments, we actually played with alignments with LOB in a previous video. So check that out if you wanna see what Yu-Gi-Oh would be like if we use video game rules. Pump King, the King of Ghosts. This is this was a this was one of my best cards in my uh, second cards playthrough. Wait a minute, if I have Larva Moth and I have Coon of Evolution and I have Great Moth, oh Paul might be in trouble. Oh, and Sui Jean, the super rare. I'm liking my cards. All right, last pack. This is my bonus pack. We have Niwatori, the Cheerful Coffin, Water Amodix, the Unhappy Maiden. What is this? I can't read it. Blade Fly, Ryukishin Power, Destroyer Golem, Paralyzing po Potion, and Tainted Wisdom. Those are my packs. I'm actually pretty satisfied. I think I can build something that's pretty nice. Okay, guys, it's my turn to open some packs of Metal Raiders. Like Alec, I've got 13, actually, because we had a couple bonus packs just laying around, so... Dark Elf, actually a pretty decent card, 2,000 attack. You have to pay 1,000 life points to attack with it, but like, it's not the worst thing. Witch of the Black Forest, that's gonna be really useful. It looks like I already have a hollow behind it. Black Skull Dragon, awesome. I know Alec was actually saying that he wanted to pull this card, but I have the card and it doesn't really help me because it takes Summon Skull and Red Eyes Black Dragon and Red Eyes isn't even in this set, not to mention I would never want to make this card. I don't even think Polymer is it. The point is, this is awesome, this is sick. It's not every day that you get a Black Skull Dragon, so I'll take it. Magician of Faith, always a really fun one. Get back a spell card. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon, so all my foils have been fusions so far and not ones that I can use. So that's not great, but I have seven colored fish, so Ring of Magnetism, maybe those, those things help. Ooh, secret rare, uh, it's not, 
Gate Guardian. This is awesome and amazing and epic and all, but I can't use this card. So as nice as it looks, I don't think any of my foils are actually playable in my deck. <sighs> All right, final pack. I guess this would be my bonus pack. Yadokaru, Swamp Battle Guard, Dome Angel of Silence, Starboy, and oh, okay. I did get another foil. It's Garnesia Elephantis. This is a two tribute monster with only 2,400 attack. And I know like Summon Skull is in this set and has 2,500 for one tribute. So I don't know what they were thinking in terms of game balance, but gosh darn it. I'll take it. I'll take anything I can get at this point. Decent like staple stuff like Magician of Faith and Witch of the Black Forest are obviously very good. Sadly, my foils, while fairly iconic cards, are not exactly uh, going to be useful for me. So I'm going to have to just rely strictly on my deck building and skill to win this one. All, All right. right. Let's do Metal Raider Battle. So we're using 30 card decks in this. Uh, we've agreed. Just to give us some semblance of consistency. Yeah, the there are no two search cards. Out of three. I don't have a die, it's pretty we, we do need a die. That would come in handy. Like, regardless of how big our decks are, we do need to know. editors first. usually, like, cut this part out, but it'd be really funny if people knew just how often. We just, we just never have a die We just don't table. have dice. Even though this table is pretty much just used for dueling. Yeah, we we only ever duel here. It should just be, like, a die. Like, doesn't this thing have a drawer it on it? It does have a drawer. And we and never we put never. a die in. Wow, we are We're wonderful. very, we're... Good YouTubers, I promise. You got eight, eight seven. seven. All right. First player draws, right? Sure. All right, then I'm going first. All right. I see that I thought in my hand. We're gonna set a card face down, duelist. Okay. One more. Pass turn. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon my gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. I'm gonna enter battle and attack, attack your face down. You attack my crass clown. I'll play tremendous fire. Oh, huh, duelist. I don't appreciate that. Yeah, I got you on the clock. Nah. I'm not okay. I draw. I'll normal summon my Jirai Gumo. We're gonna enter battle and attack with my Jirai Gumo. All right. I'm calling heads. Tails. Tails. My life points are halved, but you do get destroyed. Say goodbye right. to Gazelle. You'll take 700 damage. Take it away, duelist. All right, draw. I'm gonna keep attacking attack. with this Jirai Gumo, too. Look, I believe you. I'll normal summon my Jirai Gumo. Oh, boy. Yeah, I actually just top decked it. I thought that, that, that was hilarious. Oh, we're here now. Yeah. Jirai Gumo will attack. I'll call Tails. Heads. Half. Have those life points. And then our Jiragumos will destroy one another. Oh, man. And I'll end my turn. You can just let me keep Jiragumo. No. Draw. Gonna set this card face down and end my turn. All right. Draw. Normal summon my Ryu Kishin power and I'll enter battle. Battle enter. Ryu Kishin attack. You attacked Electric Lizard and you've activated its effect. A non zombie <clears throat> monster that attacks this card can't attack on its following turn. Ooh, all right. You froze it. I so it. you won't be able to attack next turn. I have no idea why it says non zombie monster, but whatever. Yeah, why attack. specifically is it excluding zombies? What is that about? I couldn't. Does tell anybody that. know? Someone tell us. I draw for turn. All right, I'm going to set a monster face down again and pass my turn. All right, then I'll draw. Normal summon my ground attacker Bugroth was 1500 uh, and I'm going to battle and I'm going to attack. Well you attacked the prevent rat with 2000 defense. Ooh, 500 okay. damage. Can you afford to take that anymore? I'm in my turn. Draw. I'm going to activate my germ infection. Ooh. I'm going to equip it to Ryukishin power. I'll normal summon my Koji Kosi and end my turn. I respect that plan. Draw for turn. Standby phase. My Ryukishin gets decreased. I will normal summon Cannon Soldier. Oh man, okay. So I'll activate Cannon Soldier's effect. I'm going to tribute Ryukishin oh, to the 500. Germ infection actually get an effect. I can't believe you got Cannon Soldier. We'll have the Bug Roth attack your Koji Kosi. And then I'll activate Cannon Soldier's again to tribute himself and deal 500. All right, now I'm in my turn. I'll draw. I'll in my turn for now. All right, draw for turn. My prevent rat's going to prevent you from dealing any damage to me. Oh, I mean, it could have. I'll activate tribute to the doom. I'll discard a card to destroy your prevent rat. Normal summon Witch of the Black Forest. My witch will attack you for 1100. I'll end my turn. I draw. Normal summon Ryukishin Power. Let's attack you. That will activate my witch's effect. Just remember, it's 1500 less defense. I'm looking at attack. Whoops. Yeah, that's Sandgan. <laughs> Although many would argue that Witch of the Black Forest is the superior card because a lot of boss monsters have, they have low defense. Low defense, at least they did back in the day. But normally like adds to hand sand. I mean, I'll add dragon. my Bistro Butcher. Your move, Duelist. And I will draw for turn. I'll normal summon my Bistro Butcher. Bistro Butcher has 18. I'll attack your Ryu Kishin. I'm gonna take 200, but I believe that activates a certain effect. Yes, when he deals battle damage, you have to draw two cards. Thank you, Duelist. I appreciate the gift. I'll end my turn. Draw. 
How about we just set this monster face down in our turn? All those cards, and that's the best you can do, huh? Draw for turn. A good duelist, it takes time to make a strategy, I say, after I said to not prolong your defeat or whatever. Let's set a monster face down, because the Mortal Outfit has enough defense to survive. Be sure Butcher, attack his face down. It's the Castle of Dark Illusion. All right, I'll have to end my turn there. Draw. Let's tribute the Castle of Dark Illusion. Oh, he going for it. For Flame Cerebrus. Cere Cerebrus. It's known to many as the Burning Executioner, and we're about to execute the Bistro Butcher. Your move to us. All right, let's draw for turn. I'll set a card face down, I'll end my turn. I draw. Normal Summon, Dream Clown. In our battle, we're gonna attack with Flame Cerebrus. Which Cerebrus, one? this monster. You hit my ground attacker, Bugroth. And now Dream Clown will attack your face down the monster. You hit my Sangan. So Sangan will get its effect to search for a monster with 1500 or less attack from deck to hand. I'll get my Cocoon of Evolution. Your move, Duelist. All right, let's draw for turn. I'll normal summon Destroyer Golem. Destroyer Golem's gonna attack your Dream Clown. Would you ever please just let me resolve one of my clown effects? You take 300. You're on the clock, my friend. I'll end my turn. All right, I'm summoning my Pale Beast. This should Ooh. be enough to kill you. Flame Cerberus, attack Destroyer Golem. And then my Pale Beast with 1500 will swing in for the kill. Kill. <sighs> it's game two, which means you get to pick who goes first. Who's it gonna be? I'm going first this time. Five cards in my starting hand, and I'll draw for turn. Let's set a monster face down, now then my turn. I'll draw. We normal summon the blue winged crown in attack position. Let's attack your monster. My ground attacker, Bugroth. Your move. Draw for turn. Let's set another monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I'll enter battle and attack with the blue winged crown. Castle of Dark Illusions. Ooh, so you have one too. I'm gonna set a card face down. Your move. All right, draw for turn. I'll normal summon my armored zombie, but I'm gonna equip it with my sword of deep seated to increase the attack by 500. My armored zombie will attack your blue winged crown. And with that, I'll end my turn. How about I draw? All right, I'm flipping up my crass clown. Since All it was right. changed from defense to attack position, I can return one monster you control to the hand. I target. So it sees itself get flipped. That's interesting. I think, you know what? Let's check. So I'm going to target to return to the hand. Your, oh God, I still have to deal with Armored Zombie. I'm going to return Armored Zombie to your hand. Store of DC that when it's sent to the graveyard, place it on top of the deck. Oh, I forgot about that. I'll normal summon my Jiraiguma. Attack your castle, you know Dark what you Illusions. Do first. I'm calling heads. You heads, I survived. Buy my castle. And I'll attack you directly with Crass Clown for 1350. I respect it. Take it away, Duelist. Draw for turn. Let's normal summon the White Magical Hat. I will equip it with the Sword of Deep Seated to increase the attack by 500. So now I have my White Magical Hat attack your Crass Clown. And then White Magical Hat will have you discard a card randomly from your hand. Which card will it be, Duelist? One. This one. Yep, that one right there. My Pale Beast. Oh, yeah, they're not missing that. All right, I'll end my turn there. I'll draw a duelist. Let's attack with the Jirai Gumo. I'm calling Tails. Tails! Ooh, he winning right now. Okay, so you'll take 200 damage. And then my Sword of Deep Seated will return to the top of my deck. Your move, duelist. I'll draw for turn. All right, I'll pass. I'll draw. Jirai Gumo is going to attack your life points directly this time. That did a thing. I'm calling Tails. Damn it. I'm going to set main a monster two. face down in main phase two and end my turn. All right, then let's draw for turn. I will set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. We'll attack your face down monster with Jirai Gumo. But first, heads. Tails. Tails, gotta pay half. Jirai Gumo hits. Hiosube. I'll set one card face down. Your move. All right, let's draw. I bet it's the same card from last. Game. Let's set one monster face down and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Jirai Gumo. Attack your face down monster. I'm calling tails. Heads. Jirai Gumo hits armored zombie. Your move. Draw for turn. So I'll set a monster face down and one spell or trap and I'll end my turn. Time for me to draw. I summon the white magical hat. Jirai Gumo attack your monster. I'm Call calling it. tails. Tails. You are alive. Jirai Gumo hits petite moth. Now my white magical hat will attack your life points directly. 1000. You know what that means. This one. You hit my great mouth, which is perfect because Petite Mouth's in the grave now. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Do you have the ability to destroy my white magical hat? That's a, that's a I certainly question. hope you don't. Because that was, it was risky we'll, to... Normal summon the blue winged crown. Okay. Equip it with the sword. No! Gain 500. No! Enter battle. The one time I took a small cool. risk. We're going to attack the white magical hat. Ah, oh, yeah, that's enough to... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, I just want to like get some cards out of his hand. Good bluff on the sword of deep-seated. <laughs> 
I'm going first in this third game. I draw my sixth card. Let's have a game. We'll start with Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, in attack position. And it's your move. Let's draw for time. I'm gonna activate my Tremendous Fire to deal 1,000 to you and 500 to myself. Let's set one card face down, and I'll end my turn. I'm gonna draw. I'll normal summon my Dream Clown in attack position. Ooh. Gazelle's gonna attack your face down monster. Castle of Dark Illusion, Oh 1930. my lord. Your move, Duelist. Let's draw for time. I'm gonna normal summon my White Magical Hat. Equip it with my Sword of Deep Seated, so again. Darn, had a feeling. White Magical Hat will attack your Dream Clown. I felt like I might have had this duel in the bag. This one, right? Yep. Oh, my paralyzing potion. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I needed that. You didn't need that. Your turn. I draw. Gazelle's gonna attack your white magical hat. As you know, my sword will return to the top of my deck. Let's set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. Normal summon blue winged crown. Mm. We already know you run some pretty chunky defense, so why not equip it with the sword of the obsidian and attack your face down? You've destroyed my Witch of the Black Forest, oh, but that okay. will let me get a monster from my deck with 1500 or less defense. The Dark Elf to my hand. Well, that concludes your turn duelist. It does. I draw. I'll normal summon my Dark Elf. So it's got 2,000 attack, but it does cost me 1,000 life points in order to attack with. But first, I've got a little secret spell for you. Oh. My block attack. Woo! I'll target the blue wing crown and change it to defense position. Let's have the Dark Elf pay 1,000 to attack the blue winged crown. My sword will return to the top of my deck. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. Normal summon Bistro Butcher. Oh, you've got to be joking. You know what I drew. Uh. Bistro Butcher with 20 three will attack you directly. Hey, and you draw two cards. And draw two cards. So it's your turn. Do -do. Set one monster face down, and I'll equip the germ infection to the Bistro Butcher. Your move. Draw for time. When your standby phase passes, the Bistro Butcher goes down to 2,000. Then I'll tribute both my monsters. For a launcher spider. Oh, you've got to so be kidding. So you've seated, we'll return to the top of my deck. Launch a spider attack to phase down. That was my prevent rat. It was supposed to have 2,000 to wall you <laughs> out. <laughs> you've been trying to stop me all game. I'll end my turn. I'll draw for turn. Set a monster, your move. We both know what I have to draw here. Launch a spider attack to phase down. It's a blue winged crown. Okay. Set one monster. And pass. I'm going to normal summon the seven colored fish. Enter battle and attack your face on monster. Coon of evolution. Oh, you have to be joking. Pass 2,000 defense. Your move, duelist. Your luck is horrible. <laughs> I mean, you're Draw. the one to put it in your deck, so. <laughs> Let's normal summon the uh, armored zombie. Let's go ahead and crypt the armored zombie with the sword deep seated. A launcher spider will attack your seven color fish, and then armored zombie will attack you for two thousand. Now that's my turn. I'll draw. Fine, I'm going out like a man. Normal summon Jinzo number seven. <laughs> It can attack you directly. Attack directly for 500. I gotta take it. And now, share the pain. I tribute a monster to make you tribute a monster. So I'll tribute my Jinzo number seven. And I'll tribute my Cocoon of Evolution. Your move, Duelist. <laughs> Draw. Double summon Jiragumo. Enter battle. I think you should attack with Jiragumo. If you get it wrong, then you lose the duel. No, sorry. If you get it wrong, it's a draw. That's fair. Okay. okay so no, I'll you attack have to... with Armor Zombie for okay. 2,000. And then I'll attack with Launcher No, no, it has to be Jiragumo. And then I'll attack with Launcher Let's just see what happened. Just, Fine. Just, just to see. Okay, I'll attack with Jiragumo. Okay, now I'll... if you get it wrong, then you then no, we draw. I will not do that. No, I'll no, call, no, just to see. I'll call heads. Okay, heads! Okay, you deserve to win. I deserve to win right. the whole time. Thank you very much. Good game. Well played. <laughs> I had Share the Pain one turn earlier. I should have just used it to get rid of Launcher Spider early, but I was trying to like wait. But in the you moment you got a face down card, I was like, oh darn, now I can pick that. Well played, Duelist. Well played. Played. That was fun. I Metal get... Raiders is kind of fun. Metal Raiders is a weird set. It has crazy card, like crazy cards that, that scale age really with the well. game. Oh yeah. Then you have cards that really don't. I mean, yeah, these clowns. But they, then you have things like Solemn Judgment, which did not. I'm show so up. glad you didn't draw that. Cool. That was Metal Raiders. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We've been playing with a lot of these retro sets. Check out our duel with Legend of Blue Eyes. We actually did it a few weeks back, and uh, we we had added, a special rule. Yeah, we added a special rule where we gave the monsters uh, alignments like the old Just watch games. the video. You'll yeah, just watch the video, you'll understand. And we're also going to be doing uh, Pharaoh Servant and uh, Spell Ruler next, so look forward to that. Cool. Alright guys, then we'll see you in the next one. Faster. Faster.